I knew that the, we were going to get this question tonight. Okay, so DC, the thoughts about the new Netflix documentary called You Are What You Eat. We forced ourselves to sit through the first and last episodes because we knew we were going to get asked about it and we wanted to at least know what the heck was going on with that. I talked to Nick Norwich and he watched all of it. He's like, dude, they don't even discuss the research or the science until the last half of the last episode. So we watched the first episode and I have to be honest, it was a little painful. Knowing, a lot of pain. knowing what we know, knowing the science, having read the research, it just felt like an infomercial for Beyond Burger and all the little vegan companies that they talk about. It felt like an infomercial to me. They used words effectively. I yeah, yeah, say true, that. True. If you are not someone who is awake to, you know, the actual nutritional science that we have, you would be swayed. You would be swayed yep. because the words they use, the symbolism that they use, the colors that they use, yep. this is all things that are done to Trigger program yeah. you yeah. to feel and think a certain way. And so yeah. if you're not aware of those things, then it would be very easy for you to watch that documentary and be like, I got to go plant based. Yeah. Like, I, got I mean, just talking from a technical standpoint, it's a way well made documentary. Right. Well uh, done. Very well done. Bad information. Uh, cinematically speaking, but the information is just shit. I'm sorry. Sorry, Granny Berry, but it is. It's just, it's just bunk. Uh, they were, I mean, every five minutes, Ken and I were going, oh my God. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh. Even I was trying to have an open mind, but I couldn't because it literally every five minutes she was like, what the literal and just would get up and walk off. And it was, it was fun watching it with her because I was mainly watching her, but yeah, the sales pitch was, is obvious. You know, Beyond Burgers is just about to declare bankruptcy. Yeah, if they haven't this already was paid for by right. plant-based people. So. Right. They had Cory Booker, a senator who's a, a vegan. They had the mayor of New York city. What's his name? Something, something. He's Booker? a vegan. Booker? Bo no, Brother. Booker was the senator. Anyway. I mean, it, gee, like who the hell, who cares what a senator and a, and a city mayor have to say about nutrition, unless you're trying to sway people, right? It's like, come on, come on. Yeah, the science is atrocious, but it's a well-made documentary. We have to talk about these things because there are so many people that this is a new release from Netflix. Yeah. It's getting talked about a lot. People are going to watch it and people are going to be swayed. You need to know about this because some of your friends who would never, ever go carnivore are going to watch this documentary and come and tell you you're going to die. But they're plant-based yeah. now and they're going to live, you know, forever and yeah. have a lot of people. Red, red thermogenic vaginas. <laughs> yeah, they actually uh, used um, infrared cameras on the women's vaginas. Why didn't they use it on the men? Uh, good question. I mean, men... Have horrible. two mescents and a in a you know a vascular response. Why couldn't they put the infrared camera on men's horrible junk? testing for things too? Like, yeah. what does that matter? Let's see their hormones. Let's see the sex right, hormones. Right, no, 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 right. No, they didn't do that. The only thing they did do was a DEXA scan. Yeah, which was cool. But for eight weeks long, obviously that's not a fair amount of time to see right. long. -term and the diets. Levels, so were one was vegan. The other was basically omnivore. a plant based omnivore. But the symbol they used for the omnivores was a steak, even though I guarantee you the omnivore diet was 70% plant. -based. They didn't even show what no, the omnivore diet consisted of. Yep. Yeah. Never said it. Didn't tell. I'm sure in the study and the supplemental, you can find that. Right. But not in the show. And not why, the show. You why wouldn't you show their diet? Like? Yeah. Because I guarantee it was plant-based as well with just a little tiny piece of chicken. That's That was the difference. But they, they went through all, the, like the DEXA scan, the, the results were so equivocal. Some people would gain three pounds of fat, lose a pound of muscle, and it's just, it was just all over the place. But if you didn't know better, if you're just a random teen, 20 something, 30 something, mm -hmm. and you sat down and watched that while you were eating your vegan popcorn, you'd be like, oh, 100%, I'm going plant based. Like, but they made them do things like there's a, if you watch it, you know what I'm talking about. And I was like, I'm sorry, why are we being subjected to this information? It was all the women too. They only yeah. showed like yeah. the women's reaction to those things. Yeah. Which I found. They made the women watch porn. Okay, we're not gonna. I wasn't gonna say that. Well, I mean, we're gonna say that. I guess. And 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 they used an infrared camera to watch their vascular no, response in the nether regions. They did this to the men too, but they didn't show didn't that. Didn't mention it. Didn't show it. Yeah. Anyways. And I, one of the and one of the vegan women, her her pelvic region was referred to as a forest fire. Mm -hmm. It's very sciencey, very sciencey. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of that was inappropriate and had no scientific like reason to. Yeah. Be a lot of people have asked me to make a reaction video to it. I can't. I'm sorry, guys. I can't even. This literally is so devoid of any kind of scientific merit or even scientific claims. It's just it's foolishness. If you can't tell 
that you are what you eat is foolishness, then I can't help you. I'm sorry. 